Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about baby must-haves from three to six months. I did record a video on things that were helpful for me um, from newborn up until three months. So a lot of the things I did mention in um, that video, I still use a lot right now. So I'm gonna link that video down below. If you are interested to find out about any items that can probably be um, of a big help, to you so um let's jump right in i don't have anything really in order um of importance or anything like that i just kind of listed things as i thought about them and I actually have it here on my phone so depending on your baby every baby usually um the most common they start teething like at six months some babies teeth earlier or actually like where a tooth is actually breaking out um Earlier on, I think like around three, four months, um, Evaluna was like just wanting to bite on stuff. And I think it's because just, you know, her gums would get itchy because the tooth, the baby's teeth need to move up before they break through. Um, so even though you don't see any teeth, that doesn't mean that they're not teething, if that makes any sense. So I would say definitely anything gummy really or they can chew. I have this toy here. It's actually gifted to me. I know they sell it at Target. It's just silicone. So it's nice. Also has like, it also has a rattle toy. So, you know, they shake it entertainment also another one has been this one and this one is by mom bella and it's just a silicone mushroom and evaluna grabs it with her little hands right here and then what she does is just puts it in her mouth and she just kind of like tugs on it um she would she could just be doing that for like a good amount of time just this entertains her just by pulling this so she pulls on this you know she chews on all this all of it um so this is has been a great toy if you order this it does come with a like pacifier clip thing here but i feel like it's too short so i went ahead and bought my own and the one that i bought are these i actually have two of them so you put it around any toy Fasten it on there and then this of course you just clip it on to baby's clothes and there also something I want to mention about these pacifier clips that I bought what I love about them is that they're silicone I do not have to worry about her pulling it on too hard or her biting on like the string as opposed to a pacifier clip that is made out of beads for example um, so if you pull on it too hard or if baby gets to like the string that's underneath like that's put that's holding all the beads together if that breaks it's a danger for baby because baby can swallow the beads but what i like about this one and if you can tell is that the it's all linked in one you know so it's not like a string going through beads it's just all one big like just silicone chewable toy for your baby. This has been really great and I feel very safe having these as opposed to beaded um, pacifier clips. Another thing I wanna move on to is books. Books are very important. Maybe baby doesn't obviously understand exactly what you're saying, but it does, it, I actually made a reel on this. And those are just five tips on Evelina. Evaluna has joined us on this video. She's like, I want to be part of it, mama. I just have three or four books for Evaluna, and I those are just the same ones I read over and over, especially right now because she doesn't get bored of them. She's not at an age where she's like, okay, like, mom, you've read this too many times to me. Like, I want something new. So I've just been holding on to these three. I noticed that she actually, you know, like, looks at the book and is entertained by it, and it just has... Um, this one, the first words just like strawberries, bananas. So it's really nice and it, you know, the pictures and all that. So it's very entertaining for baby. As well as this one, I have first colors. And then I have, this is just like a little storybook and this one is just called On the Farm. Um, you know, introduces them to farm animals and whatnot. So this has been very great and um, Evaluna <laughs> likes it, right my love? You wanna read a book? But yeah, so she's um, found a lot of entertainment in the books as well, and I read them to her, and um, since 
obviously I speak Spanish and my husband does too. We also say the words in Spanish. So this has been very great for that. So yeah, books. I will also recommend, so now that baby, well, it's a, this depends on when you're having your baby. If you, I, she was born in October, so really, um, I mean, being born, she already had to be like in sweaters and long sleeves and all that. So now that we are entering the summer and here it's actually getting hot and I would definitely recommend on going from blankets to like muslin covers. This is the one I've been using a lot. I do not, if I go out right now, I don't feel comfortable using a blanket just because it gets, it's starting to get hot. So of course, obviously a blanket would be way too much. Um, so what I do is use a muslin cover and it's breathable, it's lightweight. And so I like this where I'm not putting a whole blanket on Evoluna, but you know, I'm still covering her and it's not something that's super heavy or anything like that. Now that I mentioned this, I also want to mention uh, getting a fan for baby. Again, depends on when your baby is born. When I had Evaluna, I loved that it was cold because I was able to put a cover over her car seat so I can have less people trying to touch her or anything like that. Um, but something that has been, ma'am, do your business, eat, all right? I need to talk, I need to record a video, okay? <laughs> Um, that was really nice in being able to have some type of cover um, to cover them and all that and I didn't feel like you know she was overheating or anything like that in her car seat now that we are in the summer and I still don't want a lot of people touching her it's nice having the muslin blanket on top but even if you do put a muslin blanket even though it's a little more breathable and all that it can still get hot in the car seat if you have baby in there um so having a portable fan has been very nice because i will um put the fan facing you know her and then I'm able to cover her and like not be worried about that it's overheating in there. So um, a portable fan, I would definitely say if summer's coming and baby is still in their car seat, then I would definitely um, suggest getting a portable fan. Um, but yeah, so that's been nice also. I started giving Evaluna. Yes, that's you. <laughs> yes, it's you, my love. I was giving Evaluna blended food pretty early on. Early on meaning maybe like four months. They don't suggest going any earlier than that. So I did start at four months. Let me put my bra on. And, but here and there, um, really. And then starting like at five months, I started becoming a little more consistent with it. And then now that she has turned six months, I, I'm definitely more on it. I'm giving her more food. So now that I'm starting to give her um, more pureed food more um, frequently I have decided to make my own and I freeze it and defrost it whenever I give it to her um, it's already made and all that stored away so it's easy for me um, you know just to thaw it out I do ha I have a whole video on this on how I made her food I will link it down below and I would definitely suggest um, watching it if you are interested in what types of food you can make for your baby but what I would recommend is getting a blender um, for a baby I think it's time for her nap but anyway so I was gifted the baby Nutribullet so that's why I use it came with like of all the other stuff that's been very useful but I actually wouldn't suggest in or recommend buying a baby Nutribullet you don't have to your own blender works or even getting that like um, stick blender thing so there's a lot of different options that you can blend food hey it's okay it's okay so as long as you have a blender that's totally fine as well so that's been a big use and it came with these little things so this I thawed out and then I just put it in this container if it's on the go It was just throw this in a lunch box with the ice pack so it keeps it nice and cool Especially right now since it's getting warm and I don't want it to go bad So if we're going out, um, for example yesterday we went out to go eat burgers And um, as we ate burgers I was able to give her her pureed food And then that brings me into utensils for baby I use this bumpkins chew utensils, they're called chew utensils Baby easily can use these I do like these because it's a nice grip for baby and Evaluna has actually fed herself with these and then it comes with a fork so that's really nice and then as well some kind of plates 
I just put here for Evaluna. Sometimes she just kind of like moves her spoon around in here and feeds herself. Other times I put it in here and then I give it to her. This is also going to be great when she's able to eat a little bit more. She just turned six months so I'm actually able to um, do baby led weaning if I'm wanting to like banana, avocado and stuff and I just like kind of place it in here and then it comes with like a little suction so it'll get on wherever the surface is if you have them in their high chair or anything like that so if baby like tries to grab it it won't move. Um, this is also by Bumpkins and so this is really really nice. And then um, of course bibs and these are um, silicone bibs which is really nice to have as well because you can just rinse them off when they get dirty. So I do have two that I um, change with. I don't need a lot to I believe is more than enough. And then that brings me into my next thing and that is some kind of like high chair thing. I have um, this one here. You can sit it on. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to show you the best with having a Valuna. Um, but yeah, I just, this, you can attach it to a chair. It has little clips on there. Um, I put it on top of our counter, of course, in the middle where she's not on the edge or anything like that. Um, and I'm with her if I do do that. But that's been nice, her little kind of area to eat. And yeah, so that's what we do then. And it's just been, did you throw up? And next thing is sleepwear. Evaluna likes um, having something close by. I think she's accustomed to having something close and all that. So, but I'm also trying to get her to sleep in her own bassinet. Right now, she's currently still sleeping in the room with us, but I'm still trying, I'm trying to put her in her own bassinet. And then um, around maybe seven, eight months, I'll go ahead and transition to her crib. But uh, sleep sack. This one I love. It's been a dream to work with. It's a Dreamland Baby Sleep Sack. It's great, nice material, like um, nice and sturdy. I have a small, and you can even see it here. It's zero to six months, eight to 18 pounds. Um, so that's what they recommend for the sleep sack if it's within that amount of weight and size for a baby. So um, this one, what I like about it is that the top here is filled with beads in each one of these tiny little like stitched up pockets. There's beads all over from top to bottom. It's evenly distributed weight where baby feels like they have something on them and they feel like somebody is close by and it helps them sleep better throughout the night. They have some where baby is still able to kind of be like this. Um, if baby is swaddled down with arms down and then they transition with arms being up here and then they have them where you can zip off the little um, sleeve and then baby can have one arm out and then finally transition to both arms out. This one, the one that I have, does not have the little sleeve pockets on here. This is both her hands are free. So she's transitioning into this one. But um, yeah, I like it. I love it. It's been really really great and yeah I actually have a discount code that you can get 15% off I believe um, if I'm not mistaken I will put my discount code here I'll also put it down below if you are interested and want to purchase this um, it's helped Evaluna with her sleeping at night um, where she feels like something you know is close by and she feels some kind of weight on her and it also works as a blanket and I don't have to worry about if she's cold or anything like that she's nice and covered so um, you're getting a lot of benefits out of this um, sleep sack. So I will link it down below. So I think the last thing I'm going to mention is a mat. Evaluna, once she was able to start rolling over and now that she's able to sit up, she needs more space to play in. So I actually bought her a mat. We're actually sitting on it right now. But it's been awesome. You know, any spit up or anything like that, just wipe it on down, move on. It's been great, it's enough space for her to roll around and um, you know, she's not like on the edge touching the floor or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much all I can say for three to six months. Again, these are not really things that you really need. I think they've just been very helpful. Um, so I do hope this video was some, you know, um, good use for you. 
and could give you some ideas on what can help you out with baby. I will link absolutely everything down below and also do remember I have a zero to three months and things that have um, helped me up until this time right now that she's six months. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all. We're gonna say goodbye, my love, right? Right? <laughs> Okay, I will see you guys next time and remember God is good all the time. Bye. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind.